They said I was too offensive. Good evening and welcome to At Home with Last the Lord. Hey, yo, yo, what is up, Skelonians? Welcome to the show. We got a Sunday fun day. We said, let's just go live and say hello to the people. It's been too long. We've been making fresh press, which is now done. And if you're a member, you can now get it on the membership page or somewhere. We'll say, it is. Tucker, it is in one of the other rooms in your mansion. We'll go, <laughs> My what? All right, that's all you get. You just get a taste. You see that? You see that? You got Daddy? that one in. You got that one in right before the writer's strike. I uh, know that's right. We're having a writer's strike, everybody. I said, you know, how am I going to be a uh, consolidate with these people? And I decided we're not writing nothing. Right. So tonight's show is completely not written. Well, the, the writer's strike is an ongoing labor dispute between the Writers Guild of America and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. That's what it is. What are you, what are you, what are you reading that for? I just got it off Google. Uh, I guess that's good. Right. Look at that. Remember, see, Kevin wants to see Fresh Press now. That's why Kevin joined. That's nice. They must I'll be figuring you. that out, how to become members. Yeah, it was a labor of love. And thank you, members. We can't do that without you. And it took a long freaking time to do this episode. This is an Elon Musk heavy. Yeah, uh, Musk heavies. That's what it is, too. You still uh, got did Joe you, Did in you there. write that? I hope <laughs> no. you didn't write that because we're no. not doing no written. It sounded like you wrote that and, and no thought writing. about it. I'm not doing any, any writing. All right. So what we're going to do tonight, I use chat GPT. You know what chat GPT is, John? Isn't that artificial uh, intelligence app? It's, it's advanced intelligence app, yes. I think it's uh, artificial. No, it's real. It's real, all right. It is. It's advanced intelligence. And so you AI. use it to um to write something. Yeah, I use it to. I said this is what I prompted. I said, I said, do my favorites. A right. list of a favorites thing. So then it gave me a favorites, and uh, I'll just read it. Yeah. Because I'm not writing nothing. Because it goes against the strike, you know? Solidarity is what it is. Solidarity. Yeah. What does that mean? I think it just means like sticking with your, your mates, you know, like really, really getting, getting in line with each other and, and standing up against, in this case, the union standing up against. Why didn't you, you know, say that? Why did you have to <laughs> get a just fancy one word. SAT word? With it's, just, it's just one word. You think I'm dumb? Come on. No. I don't know. It feels like you think you're more highfalutin than the others, if you ask me. I have never faluted. All right. Let me see what this is. Chat GPT. I tell you, I'm feeling a little frazzled today by the uh, by the fresh press. Which yeah, you've was been working before the strike. It was edited and shot. Right. All right. Keep up the fresh press, DC. It's great. Thank you, Cello Seven O Two. Oh man, I can't even find that. I can't find this thing now. So wait, if I can't find this, should we just cancel this show? No, no, no. When 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 you do show this, to be clear, you you just asked them to do a you asked AI to do a favorites. Yeah, I said do me a favorites. Right. And so he wrote a favorites. All right. So this is a problem with live because now I don't know what this stupid thing is. Well, still on. Just breathe, and and it's I not think- about the breathing is not the problem. Okay. I am breathing. Is it your Those desktop? I pass out. I can't find the stupid thing. Come on. Is it like too much stuff on your desktop, maybe? There's too much stuff on my desktop. That is correct. All right. Here's, here's chat GPT. Right? No. No, that it. was it. No, that's not it. You know what to do? We're going to have to play Audible here. We're going to go. We're going to play a game first. And okay. then I'll find it because I don't want people waiting around for me to look for this thing. You ready for this game? Okay. And now it's time for everybody's favorite family fun game Guess My Line. Gilligan's Island Edition. Gilligan's Island Edition. We got a guest coming in. She's yep. going to play. Her name is. What is your name, pretty lady? Olivia. Olivia. That's a very regal name. I believe it, it means river. Beautiful river, Olivia. 
Sure. I'll take All it. All right. If you agree to it, your name, I guess that's what it is. Can't okay. step in the same river twice. I look at you can't what? Step in the same river twice. What if you backed up and then you stepped in it? Okay, you could do that. Yeah, see. Yes, and sometimes you just gotta use your brains and not just say a thing you heard, right? Dizzy doesn't know anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, you seem like a sweet person. I like those tattoos you got. You got any scalone tattoos? Uh, yes, but not available for work. <laughs> or not safe for work. <laughs> oh, you got them on the secret place. I like that. That's why I like people Big. with their tattoos. Big, huge right. face. Here's how we play the game. We're going to show you a clip of Gilligan's Island, and then we'll get you multiple choice. And if you win, two out of three, you get a Fresh Prez t-shirt. We got new merch. Ain't that nice? Uh, now you at home, help out Olivia, who has a tattoo of me on her butt, I believe. All right, here's the first one. Let's go. Let me just be clear. Uh, what? Olivia, you, Olivia, there's going to be a setup to a joke, and we're going to freeze it, and then Gilligan or some character on the show will have had a punchline they share, and you got to guess what they actually said on the show, just to be clear. Okay. You knew that, right, Olivia? It's the second one, always. All right. Just know, as we're doing this, I'm also looking for our chat GPT. Just everybody at home know that. If you see me do this. Obviously. I'm doing both things. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Show the clip, John. Jesus. Don't you feel anything surging in your blood? Oh, don't you feel anything surging in your blood? Now you gotta say, what did Gilligan, you wanna take a guess before you give the options, what he could say? It's a funny joke, um, know that. Surge. He goes, five. Surge. I just surge stepped in, in a radius. river twice. All right. Hey, you at home. Let's see some of your guesses. Here's your multiple choice. Does hubba 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 answer the question? Very funny. B, I do, I do. I think my arteries are hardening. <laughs> it's pretty risky for a 60s show. Mm -hmm. Or C, no, but my coconuts are turning blue. <laughs> All right. There so I have to guess what you I think they actually said or what I hope they would say. <laughs> no, this is what, if you want to win, you want to guess the right one, which is what Gilligan right. said. I hey. feel like hubba hubba hubba. All right, Seems you want to like... see what the, you want to go. The audience is usually right. What is the audience saying? What's know. the audience saying mostly, John? I think they are saying. Uh, I think we'll see, but you know that's your audience. They're saying. Okay. I don't Let's like him see. picking on the audience. No, go with what you Might think well. is right. Might as well go with the lovely bunch of coconuts. I'll go see. <laughs> Come on, you know that's not right. Look, you screwed her up. Well, I'm just saying you asked what most people are saying. Most people are I don't know why I talked to him. I honestly, I, I question it. You want to go with see? Sure. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see the real answer. This is a 60s show. They're not going to talk about blue balls. <laughs> it was Hama Hama. John? Well, oh, here I you go. Do. Not I do. I think my arteries are hardening. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. You would have lost have anyway. Yeah. You would have lost anyway. That's pretty risque for 60s, was, isn't it? That was what I was hoping they would say, but I didn't think they would. It's pretty disturbing. I mean, that's like talking about his hard art. I don't know. It seemed pretty dirty. Pick a lock that pickle for sure. We got a new pickle lock. Doctor. I forgot. We didn't let you. You got to lock your pickles beforehand. Lock that dill pickle. Okay, before you have your thing go in there. All right, John, next up for our uh, Gilligan's edition. Yeah, that's what they think they meant, penis. Bend it like that. Is there an artery in a penis? Complain? Sure, why not? Here. Well, I don't have much of an ear for music. Is there an artery in, in, in the penis? I think that's all there is. I mean, veins. All right. Uh, you want to vein? take a guess? What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I think you're a very dirty girl. I think you are. 
You think I can play it? Sure, why not? Here. Well, I don't have much of an ear for music. You don't okay, what did Gilligan say? Come on, folks. What? You know you said something disgusting. I don't have much of an yeah. ear for music. Then what did Gilligan say? Uh, give it a whack. <laughs> give it a whack. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, Scalonians, help her out. Let's see our three multiple choice. Let's go. We got, well, as long as the other one works. That was, I don't have an ear for it. As long as the other one works. Very funny. P. You don't need an ear, just a knee. Because she's playing the knee so saw. Or C. Who cares about your ear? All I'm thinking about is your butthole. I don't know if it's that one. All right, Olivia. You want to take a guess? The audience says A. B. Well, Dustin he, says I mean, B. He's, he's definitely thinking C, but I think he said A. You think you said A. All right, you want to lock that pickle? Lock that dill pickle. You want to lock that dill pickle? Pickle. Pickle. Pickle what? Pickle it up. No. Or that pickle is, it down. Like, no, you don't pickle it up or down. You lock that pickle. Lock that dill pickle. Dill pickle. Pickle lock? You can do a lot, lot, lots of things with pickle. Oh you my goodness. Pickle. We got a wild one, guys. We got a real fun one tonight. Right, Franklin? Look at all these bitter pickles. All right. Let's see. What is the answer? I don't need an ear, just a knee. Oh. What did I say? Hey. Oh, uh, Gilligan, you're wonderful. You're wonderful. <laughs> you think I can play it? Sure, why not? Here. Well, I don't have much of an ear for music. You don't need an ear, just a knee. Oh, uh, just a knee. Just a knee. All right. Well, nobody's to... ever told me I need knees for music. Uh, well, it's Gilligan's eye, and they were always stuck on it. They had to do what hey, they're doing. Now, listen. I wanted to play this a little more because there's a great, there's a joke at the end of this one. Remember that? There's a joke. Oh, oh. all right. Let's see it. Take me out here. In the... There's apparently a funny joke here. Gilligan, you're wonderful. I'm really ready for it. Oh, he got That's a boner. Thinking. That's when he's thinking butthole. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Gilligan, you got, you're wonderful. That's pretty risque for the uh, 60s, wouldn't you say? Is that your dog? Yeah, he's outside. He's pissed off. Mm -hmm. All right, let him... somebody's here. Oh, really? Well, let him calm down. we got to be right back. we got to do a commercial break real quick. I'd like to talk to John Bush, if I may. Hey, Mr. Baldwin. John, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. I can tell by your shit-eating grin and your stupid head that you're the kind of guy whose ball sack is stuck to your leg 24-7. Is that correct? Is that yeah, correct? pretty much. Well, I have a solution for you and everyone out there. Sheath underwear. Because in life, situations pop up that require you to focus. And the last thing you want is to be distracted by your scrotal sack. So there's a separate pouch for your balls? Yes. A separate pouch inside for your little Billy Baldwins. Fabrics cool to the touch, provide absorption keep you dried fresh all day we all want a cold gun in our pants you can have that with sheath underwear by the way ladies they have wonderful products for you as well let's be honest you need durable underwear to handle the nightmare that is your vagina we all know this <laughs> hey is sheath there a promo code uh, that people can use of course of course there's a promo code promo code killed for 20 percent off which I find in poor taste. I mean, she was my friend. She was my friend. We did know once. I don't think it's. I don't think it's killed. That's an old promo code, isn't it? Yeah, it's an old promo code. It's actually Kyle, and it's for twenty percent hey, off. Get your sheath underwear, everybody. All right. I guess you, you've you've lost because you didn't get two out of three. No. Well, let's still have her do one more, right? All right. We'll do double and nothing. What are rules when we can change them? All right, here's your last chance. You ready? Indeed. 
Are you desperate for I this? I would say it was uh, a geological phenomenon uh, caused by volcanic activity beneath the Earth's surface, resulting in the concentration of heat in a specific location. That makes sense to me. There's only one thing I don't understand. <laughs> there's only one thing I don't understand. What is that? I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's more than one. <laughs> no. Gilligan knows all. You want to take a guess? You want your multiple choice. Um... Uh, I got multiple choice. I can't think. All right, that's all right. All it's difficult. Ex volcanoes exploding. <laughs> all right, could be volcano is exploding. Let's see. Exploding. How come the ground got so hot underneath our feet? Okay, does Gilligan say that to the professor? B. Everything you just said. That's pretty funny. Or C. What did Marianne and Ginny use for tampons <laughs> on this island? Fair question. All right, Scalonians, what do you think? What do you all think? Um, well, I think I started this out, and I wish I would have gone with it, but I always said it was number two, second one. So I'll go with the second one, B. All right. Lock in that pickle. Pickle it up. Lock. It's, it's pi yes. okay. Lock pickle that lock. dill pickle. Dill pickle. We got the A deal. from the audience. I guess mainly the audience is A. B. Survey set. Franklin says A. Franklin's never wrong. Unfortunately. Mm, sorry, Franklin. I'm going B. Going B, going B. Survey says? What's that? How come the ground got so hot underneath our feet? Pooby <laughs> 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 doo. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, you've been a you've been a great contestant. Though you come back, maybe you can come back and try to play again. I'd love to come back sure. and next time I'm gonna get all of them. I think I think people all really liked you very much. You're a wonderful contestant, but great energy to the Scalone show, which we appreciate. All right, you take care, <laughs> Olivia. God bless. I liked her. She's nice. I like her too. She's terrible at that game. Yeah, she. Well, I I I thought she brought a good spirit to it. You know. I thought she did too, and she was also very bad at the game. <laughs> Just both those things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, we never did Yo's. The oh, hell is going on going. this show? The show's too laxed, in my opinion. I think lax is what we needed tonight, though, without those writers. Well, yeah, we had to do an unprepared show. Just to say hello to the Scalonians. Yo, Olivia. Yo, Olivia. Yo, Craig W. Kid Nurse, Nut Meat. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold Duke. those yo's. Hold, hold those yo's. It's time for a yo. <laughs> come on, now the yo's come. You got to wait for the Learn yo the music. Yeah, it is. I'm a stiglia. I got to turn my yo music. Like oh, Frank. Come on. Teacher you got that yo. Am I really 20 yo? Come on. That's 27. Get them in faster. Get those in faster, those yo's. Come on. But we just yo. Kevin 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 got said mean yo. These yo's are too slow. Then they come back. Come to become American cheese cracker, yo. Match gets good, yo. Rob kids all, all around the world. There's a yo Gert, yo mama. Right. Roger for Roger. Dingleberry, Urban King. Rock and roll, Eric yo. Graham. Magnificent Mustang. Yeah, Fitz, the Zabata, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie Chan. <laughs> I didn't know Jackie Chan watched this show. That's pretty cool. Wreck. That is that is cool. You must see another clip from Fresh Prez. She Just a touch. Here. You may proceed. Well, I was born in South Africa, bullied in class. There's a song that Elon Musk sings. I don't know why I password and my daughter let her why I started stalling a global internet. All right, that's all you get. That's all you get if you're not a member. You got to wait till Tuesday. All right, thank you for that little tip there. It's nice. You want to do some Cobra talk right now? Cool. That was the Cobra talk. You don't want to talk about is, is you see we have a new king. Oh yeah, the coronation. Yeah. Yeah. He's our new king that we, we've been waiting for because we didn't really listen to the queen so much. He's not ours though, right? He's he's Britain's king. No, he's ours too. It's Britain owns owns America. No, but no, so we we started from Britain, like we we broke free from them. They never agreed. 
they never agreed. Anyway, there's a lot of interesting things of the coronation here. So, uh, you see the, uh, Harry came in there by himself. You see that? Very much alone. Oh, he yeah. tried to talk to people on the way in, and no one really wanted to talk to him, none. People weren't making eye contact with him. No. Like, he right here, to, look. He tried to give a little yeah, hey. Yeah, he's like a pariah. And his head is so bald, like, like the front isn't. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Like how do I'd you rather do have my bald than that bald, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. And they had this choir singing there. They have to turn the music down because they demonetize. But it was a, a very sanctimonious. The whites felt very good about letting black people sing, as you can see. Yep. They feel very good about themselves that they let black people in there and sing. That was yep. very nice. That is nice. But I got the, uh, I thought the most interesting thing was, you know, of course, the, the transition. Well, now, didn't you have, uh, did you, ha you had one where she, uh, Kate, did you have the one with Kate going by? Him going by Yeah, Kate? this, well, no, this is like when Two they crowned him here. Him. And it was, you know, for the, the ceremony is very weird. First they hold it in front of like an invisible dwarf. They hold the crown <laughs> to put it on the invisible king. It's a symbol. That's actually the ceremony that's the invisible. Yeah, I know a lot about them. I'm like a modern archaeologist. I know what they're doing here. It's very complicated. But so it's like right now on, a, on an invisible um, dwarf, dwarf king. It's on yep. the invisible dwarf king there. And then, who, oh, there he is. He looks very solemn. Well, he's they, he's dressed up like a woman now, and he's finally becoming queen. Wait, and she was there too, this lady. <laughs> but wait a minute, you're saying that you're, you're saying that that the, that this is Charles becoming a woman? Yes, she, yes. As you can see, he's he's transitioned here into a women's gown, okay. and that's the queen's hat. No, I think that I don't think that was her hat. I think that's isn't that don't they yeah, make him? Yeah, that's the queen. Yeah, now he's the queen. So now he he's put the on queen. the woman's outfit, and he's holding the symbolic what are the penises. Are of his... Oh, there's there's penis, penises. Yeah, you're not telling me that's that's a man's outfit. That's a woman's. That outfit. That is a woman's outfit. Yep. Yeah, and there is his lesbian lover i think they showed that so camila is the lesbian lover of the of the new queen yeah, that's a les she was the whore <laughs> she and was then, a whore before but now that she's a beloved lesbian lover of uh yeah and, and who's that i think that's their adopted son is that the who's in the hat right there that's the pope wait <laughs> the pope was at the coronation yeah the pope was yeah of course you know the the church and state is a, is a big thing out there. Okay. So there's two, two popes. Both popes came. <laughs> All right. It was a beautiful ceremony. Okay. There's Kate Middleton. Yeah. And there's Prince William. He's also in a woman's dress, it looks like. Okay, so there's the... Yeah. Here's another lesbian, one of their friends... <laughs> It was a beautiful ceremony. There's Al Roker came and telling them about the weather because they got they got to go in the carriage. They need to know about the yeah, weather. Yeah, they need to know because of that transition from the Abbey to the carriage. Yeah. He's telling him, you know, it's going to be partly cloudy. It's and Woody who's Allen. this? Woody Allen came, of course. <laughs> Woody Allen was there. Yes. All the popes saying, you know, if you don't mind, you know, we accept you for who you are and who you wish to be in life, and it's okay. And we accept him too. Her, excuse me. It's he really does look miserable. Well, you know, it's a new thing. It's a new lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. And they just pick him up slowly. It's his period. He's having his pyramid. <laughs> his first time. His and then first who's the one? That's who's the, the blue dress? Who's that? She's holding this symbolic penis of uh, yesterday, taking it away from him. As he walks slowly into his new life okay. as a woman. Wow, beautiful, that, beautiful ceremony. It is really. It's, it's a, most people when they make those transitions, they're they're not so public about it. You know. No, this is quite public. This is really out of the out of the closet, and hey, here's who I am. I love that. 
Yep. I mean, and these are all uh, these. I think these are those uh, Illuminati kind of. Oh, and there's Al Roker again. To wrap the whole thing up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful ceremony. You got to give it that. Yeah. Well, it's good to have a new queen and 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 uh, queen. Yeah. Oh, you see this? No. Kay Middleton almost passes out seeing her father-in-law turn into a woman, but she <laughs> controls herself and gets it back up. That's fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at this. Watch this. You just. Oh, she's right, not but she gonna make it. Caught herself. She's a strong woman. Yeah. Oh, we got another commercial to do. You know, I haven't found that chat GBT thing yet. Yeah. Son of a gun. Hey, folks. I'm here to tell you about Blue Chew real quick. I actually want to tell you about this, Johnny. You could use it in the bedroom. It uh, helps you uh, get the little guy to stand up straight and salute. Like oh, I'll you're talking about bluechew.com. I'm Those talking are... about Blue Chew. The chewable tablets ah, at a fraction of the cost, like the, the same right. as Viagra and Cialis? Fraction of a cost. That sounds like a good idea. Why yeah. pay more when you can That's get right. Blue Chew and stop pushing that gummy worm against Barbie? Ah. Yeah, I, I have to say, most nights I'm okay, but sometimes I need that little push. Yeah, Simply sign up at bluechew.com, uh, do a consultation with a licensed provider, and once approved, you'll get your prescription in days. I'd say most nights, Johnny, you need a little blue chew from what I hear from Barbie. Why is she talking to you? How are you because guys Because we're friends. I'm friends with your wife. Is that so bad? Don't worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do concerned. anything. All right. Well, can I tell them about the special deal we have right now for our listeners? Please. Try blue chew for free when you use our promo code Kyle at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code Kyle to receive your first month free. Why Visit don't we Blue put Chew. your script in front of the cameras? So you don't look off to the side when you're reading. Would that <laughs> be so about hard? That. Look, thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring us. You're an awesome Looks thing. like you're on another goddamn show while you're doing this one. Blue Chew, thanks for sponsoring the podcast. Show. Whatever. I realize I monopolized Cobra Talk the whole time. I thought it was great. But we got to get going soon. We just want to come here and say hi. But we'll, we'll do a couple of Cobra Talk. Cobra Talk. You know, before we go, too, I just want to make, we have so many announcements to do. We're going to be in Austin this weekend. That's right. Kyle's That's right. doing Corolla, Adam Corolla tomorrow. We want to oh, listen wow. to that. Might yeah, come out you Tuesday, and I. I don't know. Johnny Look Bush. Look at that Kyle handsome D. guy. Yeah. I feel like Kyle's hair isn't that good anymore. Do you get that uh, feeling? Uh, it, it, Kyle's hair is, is uh, if you do the right kind of body work on it, you know, you can kind of make it look like that. Yeah, yeah. Fillers. Fillers, yep. And then you have a new girl. Congratulations on your new girlfriend. A lot, lot of things to talk about. Kevin Harrison, David, the 1999 Super Sticker. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. We do appreciate you and all your supporters. We got the... Uh, Fresh press up for you, members, right now. You can watch it after this. Actually, we're going to do an after party real quick. After we're going to do an after Just party. hang out for a little bit. So join down below if you want to come to the after party. I think maybe the link isn't there right now. But maybe we'll try to do the AI thing next time since the writer strike may be continuing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where I put that. We didn't get any Cobra Talk questions. Did we get no questions? Waco, you know what he's doing? He's gambling online. That's my guess. Doesn't it look like I gambled? He, he, he gambling. seems like he might be the type who you gamb gambled. Yep. Just smile of guilt. With his golf hat and stuff. That's Dupa's delight. Yeah. As uh, Scott <laughs> Rouse would say. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for your, all your support. We're going to try to do uh, more shows with the uh, Craig in there. Craig did pretty well, actually, his little show we did. Yeah, we had a good time on that one. And we're trying to do every uh, first Sunday of the month a uh, little Stallone show for you. And, of course, fresh presses. This is, uh, ooh, look at these. Oh, uh, we want to get these. These are members. Look at all those members. Look at that. I want to get that. Hey, this Stan K. That's a Mario's. Wonderful people. people there. Yep, Good wonderful. people out here. And thank you all. You're not members. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you all. And join us for the uh, after party. Let's go out with some yo's, folks. Let's do it. Let's get some yo's in here. We'll see you at the after party. Come on.
There's Scott A with the yo. Come on. I want some yells from around the world. Like a South African yo. Come on. Justin Luce. Justin Luce said yo. The blob, the economy, the truth say yo. Come on. Christopher Gigawatt. Said yo. 